Hey everyone, Tim here. Thank you so much for purchasing the Divi Dashboard Welcome. I'm going to walk you through how to get the plugin all set up and configured so that you can start customizing the WordPress Dashboard Welcome using the Divi Builder. So uh, it's actually a really easy setup. There, there is a couple of steps though that, that are really important in order to get the plugin to work properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that here in the video. However, if you prefer just to uh, go through a PDF guide, then you can click the button that should be underneath this video and that will open up the PDF that you see here on my screen so that you can follow it yourself. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead over to here and if you're watching this video, then more than likely you have already unzipped the Divi Dashboard Welcome download package. And so there's the files that you see here and you more than likely click start here and that had taken you to the video that you're watching. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to import um, these three files here. So the first one that we're going to do is install this first.xml. So in order to do that here, I'm gonna come over to my, my demo website and, and really quick as a side note, you'll notice I don't have the plugin installed yet, I just have the typical default WordPress dashboard welcome that you see here on the screen. But once we're done, we're gonna have a nice, beautiful dashboard welcome that can be customized using the Divi Builder. So first things first, let's go ahead and import that XML file. So navigate to tools, now click import. And then what you're gonna do once this decides to load is you're gonna click on WordPress to load the default WordPress import tool. If you don't have it installed already, it's gonna ask you to install it and then it should uh, bring you back to the screen that I have here and now click choose file So the file that we're going to import is the XML file. It should be titled install this first dot XML So once you have that selected go ahead and click choose and Then you're going to click the blue button that says upload file and import now it sees that the file has a username that created it titled Tim Streifler, that's my name, that's the username I used on the development website when creating this plugin. Um, but what you wanna do is you want to assign the content to your existing username. So where it says, or assign post to an existing user, just click the drop down, select the username, and then um, you can go ahead and assign it to the existing user. And then now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna check that box there and click submit. And it should just take a second there, it's not a big file. And so now it has imported the page that we use uh, to create the Divi dashboard welcome screen. Um, but now what we need to do is we need to actually install the plugin. So to do that, go to plugins and then click on add new. Now click on upload plugin, choose file. And now we're going to select the .zip file that is titled Divi dashboard welcome dot zip now click choose and install now so you're just going to upload that like a, a normal plugin that you would upload and then you're going to click activate plugin so now i'm going to go ahead and click on dashboard and the first time you load it um, it's going to take a second to load and then typically after that it, it's uh, it won't take as long to load and that'll also depend on your cache settings and, and so forth so now we have the nice beautiful um, dashboard welcome screen that can be edited using the Divi Builder uh, but before I show you how to do that I'm gonna go ahead and install the layout so the Divi dashboard welcome plugin comes with five a total of five layouts to get you started and of course you can create your own you can edit those so to install the layouts under Divi, you're going to click on Divi Library. And then once that decides to load, you're going to click on Import and Export from the top. Click that Import tab. Click on Choose File. And now you're going to click the .json file, which is Divi Dashboard Welcome Layouts .json. Now click Choose. And then you're going to click the big blue button that says Import Divi Builder Layouts. Now that'll take just a second to import, and then once that is done, it will reload the page for you, like so, and now that that is reloaded, now you know that it's it's fully imported. So you can see here the, the category for Divi Dashboard Welcome Layouts. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to pages and I'm gonna show you how to edit the uh, new Divi dashboard welcome. So you'll see in addition to whatever pages you had before, you should see a new page that is titled Divi dashboard welcome screen. And it's actually a private page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you're going to be able to edit it just like any other page. And so once this page loads, you'll notice it's a typical page using the Divi Builder. And so you can edit it just like any other page that you would using the Divi Builder. And so you can go in and you can customize things, move things around, add your own content, get creative. Um, but in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to load the additional layouts. So you're gonna click Load from Library. Then you're gonna click Add from Library. And you can see here we have um, on the, the top here, the ones that we just imported that are uh, have the prefix Divi Dashboard Welcome. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, let's do, I'm going to do a handwritten note plus map just for fun here. And then I'm going to click Update. Now I'm going to open this up in a new tab here. And uh, while that loads, something I want to show you here. Um, you might be thinking, well, if this is a normal page, there's a couple of problems. Um, one, someone could view this page on the front end, and we don't want that to happen. Um, or you might be thinking, you know, Google's going to index this page, and I don't want Google to index this page. However, this is a private page by default, and so that actually can't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in this URL here. And you'll notice if you try to navigate to the Divi dashboard welcome screen page, if you're not logged in, you're going to get a 404 page. You won't be able to, to view it. Um, of course, if I tried to view it from here, I'm, I am logged in, so it would let me view it. Um, but if you're not logged in, it's because it's a private page, no one can view it. Google can't index it or anything like that. Another thing that you might be thinking of, well, if I'm handing over this site to a client, then they might go in and accidentally delete it, or I might accidentally delete it. And so we, we took a couple extra steps to make sure that doesn't happen. So if you accidentally click move to trash or your client tries to delete it, they're gonna get this warning screen here that basically tells them that it can't be deleted because of um, the fact that it's for the plugin Divi Dashboard Welcome. And then if they wanna delete it, then they are gonna have to uninstall the plugin and then come back and delete it. So we have some safeguards in place so that that does not happen. So um, coming over here now, you can see um, this is an additional layout. Uh, it's a handwritten note with some contact information and a map, just another way to, to brand your business, um, add that personal touch, thanking your client for, for their business. Um, and then you know giving them some information on how to contact you so these are just the layouts are different examples to give you ideas of what you can do now that you have full control over the the dashboard welcome screen another thing to note is you can dismiss this just like the the normal uh, welcome screen and then you just click screen options and, and uh, tick the box and it'll come back for you so I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more here just for fun click add from library and let's do WP style. So this one was designed to kind of match the default uh, WordPress styling for the admin panel. I'm going to go ahead and click update here. All right, I'm going to just navigate away from the dashboard and then come back to it here. For whatever reason, this local installation is loading a lot slower than normal. And you can see here that uh, it blends in really nicely with the uh, WordPress admin panel. So the styling matches. Um, so, that, you know, this looks very similar to what the welcome screen looks like um, without the, the Divi Dashboard welcome plugin. And so um, you can kind of give it that same WordPress admin feel, but be able to customize the links so that um, it's a little more personalized for your client, add a, a support contact form. Um, but um, get creative, use this space for, for whatever you want to brand yourself, to, to brand your client. Um, it really is fully in your control now. Uh, thanks to the Divi Dashboard Welcome plugin. So that's it for this demo. I hope you found it helpful. If you do have any questions at all about getting this plugin installed, feel free to reach out to me. Um, my contact information is in the PDF here. 
tim at timstreifler.com or you can reach me at timstreifler.com uh, through the contact form. Uh, one last quick thing, if you want to um, use links here that will automatically uh, change the page, then what you need to do is you need to add in the link attribute target equals underscore parent. And what that does is it will um, make it so it'll actually go and change the whole window. Otherwise, if you don't add that, it's just going to change the link inside this frame here, inside the, the welcome panel screen. So you just need to make sure that you do that if you are linking to somewhere else in the admin panel and you want the whole uh, window to change. Um, all right, that's it. Thank you again for watching the video and for purchasing the Divi Dashboard Welcome plugin.